Okay, so thanks very much for, for watching, guys. Um, so what we're going to show you here is um, is uh, in increasing range of movement with without doing any stretching at all within about ten minutes. Okay, so I've got uh, got Stephanie here, a very very uh, very accomplished massage therapist, and also a very regular at um, here at the Watergrave Clinic for for yoga classes as well. Um, so you're, 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 you've been presented with, uh, you've got some, some cramp happening in your, in your hamstring. Yes, yeah, so I think left. I pulled my left hamstring uh, th three days ago, yeah. just slightly, so it's a bit sore and it just felt like it was going to cramp in the class. Okay, just all right. So, we're gonna, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to help just to, to help to loosen that off a little bit and also give it, give it a little bit of a stretch. But I want to show um, uh, the people watching this that you can um, have a positive effect on, uh, on range of movement without actually stretching and doing a lot of uh, massage work uh, that also helps to uh, improve range of movement as well. Okay, so um, what I'd like you to do, please, if you just uh, like to, uh, yeah, uh, turn around, please, and lie face down. Okay. But you're, you're just, so when I work on the left hamstring there, yeah? yeah? Uh, I'll, um, I'm just going to have a bit of a general uh, loosen. Oh, sorry, forgive me. Um, one thing I forgot to do is I've got to actually check your range of movement a bit when we start. So, yeah. if you'd like to uh, sit up for me, please. Okay, so sitting up, sitting up nice and tall, the thighs together, toes point up towards the ceiling. And as you reach your hands up towards the ceiling, and as you exhale, just allow yourself just to flop forwards. Okay, so if you extend, extend your fingers out as much as you can. So, I'm saying that's about the, the second uh, uh, phalan phalange you. A phalangeal joint there, yeah. So that's yeah. the second, yeah. So that's the second, uh, second joint, second finger joint, yeah. So yeah. that's the second. Okay, so that's about as far as far as you'll go for now. Okay, that's fine. So if you'd like to turn around, please, and lie uh, face down. So we won't we won't do this we won't do this for too long. So we'll have about uh, ten minutes. So what we're looking at here. So what's going to help? to improve, improve your forward bend is to get some length in the hamstrings and, uh, and the calves. And also just a little bit in the feet as well, because as you, uh, as you fold forward, for some people, you feel like a little bit of a tingling sensation or a pulling sensation in the soles of the feet. So we'll work a little bit on that as well. That's a healthy sign, so. <laughs> okay. I've been doing a lot of running lately, so I think yeah. running's a bit too late. Sure. Okay, so this is just a little bit of rolling here. Yeah, so there's a lot of people that ask me about this one particular uh, technique that I, that I use um, whenever I'm at a sporting event. This is the, the rolling manipulation, um, which is um, very exclusively Chinese. It's in um, every between the practitioner knows this technique. So if you want to see this in more detail, I'm going to upload another video on it. So getting into the origin of the hamstring here. So there's also a Chinese acupoint called bladder 36. I'm going to bladder 37. So, oh, 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 yeah, that's a very, very tender point. Okay, I'm just going to press into there until, it's, until it hits your, your pain threshold. Is that, is that yeah. bearable? No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Do you want to have a little bit? Can you bear a little bit more? Yeah, or? just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just tell me when. Uh, that's about at six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, we'll keep six it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it about six out of ten. Yeah. I mean, I think anything more than that is just be a bit sort of jumpy, right? Yeah, I don't think, I yeah. don't believe in like, Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll just warm this up a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll ask you a bit more specifically where this uh, discomfort is in the in the hamstring. Yeah. I'm really feeling a lot of resistance in that. Really? Yeah. That doesn't feel too bad at the minute. Okay. So I'm feeling a bit in there. Okay. So again, we're going into the origin of the uh, of the hamstring muscle here, just near the uh, initial tuberosity. So when you're able to relax into that particular, this particular point, which is bladder 36, you can help to relax nearly all the, the whole um, hamstring muscle group, which is made up of three, three different muscles. Yeah, this is there's some resistance in that for sure. I don't know if you can feel that, but it's like it's hard to press into the nerves. Yeah, other side. I can feel it, but it doesn't hurt. I can yeah. just feel that it's it's a bit sort of resistant. It's stuck. Yeah, it's a bit denser. Yeah, yeah. So, is there any, a particular area in the, in the hamstring? So the place I was feeling the pain was just more towards the outside. Yeah. So maybe okay. that isn't the hamstring. Yeah, so oh between, just yeah. where you had your thumb, right? There, that's it. Yeah. So between like... Just in there, where you've got your finger, that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's almost bordering the IT band, almost. Is it? Yeah. Maybe it's that. Yeah, that's more sensitive. Yeah, okay. So we'll just work through that. How much time have we got left? Okay. Yeah. We've got on the feet there as well. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Oof, yeah. Okay, that's great. If I have to turn around, please, and we'll back. Finishing movement here on the hamstring, just get into the hamstring and the uh, and the calf here. Okay, that's great. If I to sit up on me, please. Yeah, that's great. Great. So if you um, can I ask you just to just so just for the benefit yep. of the camera, can I um, can I have you just to sit yep. like that? Okay, that's great. So if you like to uh, inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, fold your body forwards. <laughs> oh wow! Look that's at that. Loads more. That's loads more. We're talking. So you were at the uh, the second. Uh, How are you that? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. So we've now got we've now got past the. Um, so just uh, so we now just got near to the to the palm of the hand, just beyond the. Uh, the knuckle there, okay. That's quite incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's quite. It's only t only, only ten minutes. Because right? I just did a yoga class, so I thought I was quite, you know, yeah. loosened up already. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so it's quite it's quite amazing, and yeah. and I haven't even started to to, to stretch the, the client as well. So normally I spend about uh, I spend an hour with the with the client. So 
But if you if you are at home looking towards like improving your range of movement, um, you know this is this is first hand evidence of how we can uh, how we can help you out. Um, I mean this is what we can do in about ten minutes. We can do a lot more in the space of an hour. Uh, and if you are uh, serious about tackling any stiffness and pain and discomfort, please do book in. Until next time, take care. Um, get in touch. My web address is www.maxstrengthholistics.co.uk or you can call me on 07 593 108 702. Until next time, take care. Um, see you soon. Bye now.